If you are a gamer, a creator, or anyone else who uses multiple screens but want the best results without having to switch any cables, you will probably appreciate this piece of tech from BenQ. It's Robin B360. In the box, you get a quick setup guide, an 8K HDMI 2.1 cable of 1.8 meters, a super speed USB-C 3.2 cable of 1 meter, a power cable and power brick, and of course the B-Creators DP1310 hybrid docking station from BenQ. This device will work with practically any operating system out there, like Windows, Mac, Linux and Chrome OS, so pretty much anything. And it has a starting price of $299. Links of the product and more information about it will be in the description. And be sure to subscribe if this video is helpful to you. That would be great. The build quality feels really good as it has an aluminium alloy, which is excellent for cooling. And it has some nice anti-slip pads on the bottom and side, so it will be secure when you plug and unplug devices such as a keyboard and mouse or an extra screen. But it will also be stable no matter how you put it on your desk, as you can set up the B creators horizontally or vertically. At the back of the docking station from the right side, the BenQ B creators DP1310 has a port to supply power to the docking station. Continuing to the left, it has a USB-C port to connect the docking station to your computer or laptop. By the way, it has fast charging for a laptop of 100 watt and 36 watt for an iPad or iPhone. Then you have the HDMI 2.1 out port to connect your screens up to 4K 120Hz or 8K at 60Hz. Besides the high resolution and Hz you get with this port, you can easily switch between your screens, which I will show you in a bit. Then you have the HDMI 2.1 port for your PS5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, second PC or something else. Then you get a regular HDMI port and on top of that you get a display port. Next to that you get a gigabyte Ethernet port and three USB-A ports, of which the one underneath the Ethernet port is a 10 gigabit transfer speed. On the front of the BenQ B Creators you get two extra USB-A ports also with a 10 gigabit transfer speed. And the same goes for the USB-C port which also goes up to 10 gigabits. So that's a total of four USB ports that fully support a 10 gigabit transfer speed. Then you have the 3.5 millimeter in and out audio port to connect a wired headphone phone or some speakers. So with the BenQ B Creators, you can create a triple screen setup, which supports 4K at 60Hz, or you can set up a dual screen setup that supports 4K at 120Hz, or even 8K at 60Hz. So how does the B Creators work? Well, the setup guide shows you that you first need to download and install drivers for your operating system. It's very important to do this first, or else the B Creators won't work as it should. In my use case, I wanted to connect my my MacBook Air M1 that I use for editing to my LG 32 Ergo display, but also have it connected to my LG OLED TV, while being able to switch that out with my Xbox Series X. The reason for this is that I sometimes want to see how my YouTube videos look like on a TV when I'm editing my videos. Also, normally a MacBook Air with an M1 chip will only work with one extra display, but I can confirm it works with multiple screens through the BenQ B Creators DP1310, which is absolutely fantastic. Also, according to the specs, the B Creators will also work with the M2 chip. If you want to power on the B Creators, just press and hold the green button for a couple of seconds. The light turning blue will indicate that it's turned on and connected. And you will see that all screens are working in the set resolution. So if you want to switch to the LG OLED screen and game on 4K 120Hz, all you need to do is tap the green button so the indicator turns green. And you will switch from the computer to your console, which you happen almost instantly, which for me is great to have a gaming break between editing sessions. And of course without losing that max 4K resolution at 120Hz. Just make sure you also choose these settings on your console. So the quality and frames are absolutely fantastic. Everything works great as if you connected your console directly. And if I'm done with my gaming break, all I need to do is just tap the green button again. Then the BenQ B Creators should turn blue and the LG OLED TV will switch back to my MacBook. It's also pretty cool that you can connect your keyboard, mouse, hard drive or pretty much any USB device to the B Creators. It would be cool though to have something like an SD card slot, but that's okay. So here are my pros and cons. 
Pros. Starting with the Pros, with the BenQ B Creators DP1310, it's really easy to switch between your screens and devices. This hybrid dock has a lot of ports that will provide you the highest resolutions out there and also great USB speeds. Also not unimportant to note is that the build quality is really great and it even works on the MacBook Air M1 that normally doesn't work on multiple screens and even on the MacBook M2. So a small personal con here is that there's no SD card slot included. But I'm really nitpicky right here. Just take a quick look at this direct spec comparison with docks of the same price range. The BenQ B Creators really makes my life so much easier because now I can easily switch between working and playing on my screens without having to plug in and out different cables but I can just simply press one button. It's that easy. And if you want to have the same experience or need more information about the B Creators, check out the links in the description or subscribe to see more content in the future or click right here to check out more videos right away. See you there.